Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Budget Mini ITX Case. Starting at number 5. Razer Tomahawk Mini. While this stylish case only supports up to 320mm graphics cards, it does support those that need three expansion slots. It has room for lots of different CPU coolers, and even 240mm radiators for liquid cooling, as well as three 2.5-inch drives. The front panel gives access to a wide variety of ports, and Razer's chroma RGB lighting effects on the bottom of the case, giving it a stylish underglow. Coming at number 4. Lianli TU150WX. With enough space for a triple-slot graphics card, for fans, an SFX power supply, and great cable routing areas behind the motherboard tray and in the roof of the case, this Lianli case still has lots of room. It also has a retractable carrying handle, to make moving it even easier. It clinches the spot as the most portable case on our list, even if it is a bit larger than some of the other cases we've highlighted. At number 3. NZXT H210i. NZXT delivers a versatile case with top-notch quality in the H210i. It's easy to build in thanks to a roomy design and ample cable management, while a glass side panel and some extra RGB lighting let you show off all your hardware. Its I.O. panel could use in some extra ports, though the USB-A, USB-C, and headset jack should suffice for most. The NZXT H210 I can pack in an ATX power supply, along with a full-size GPU, like the RTX 4070, a solid CPU, and several drives, so excellent cooling is essential. Luckily, the case is fitted with two 120mm fans, and there's the opportunity to install additional fans or a radiator up to 240 millimeters using a removable bracket. Mesh is also incorporated into the design for plenty of airflow. Number 2 of my list. Silverstone Technology. To save on space and cash, you can't go wrong with the Silverstone Technology Sugo 16. For under $100, it offers a unique, cube-like aesthetic in a compact form factor, making it shorter and stouter than most cases to fit in tighter spaces. Luckily, there's enough room for a standard ATX power supply to save on money, but you sacrifice GPU length, though it'll still hold cards up to 275mm. The case is made of steel with mesh panels on the front, side, top, and rear for extra ventilation. However, much of the hardware, when installed, blocks the vents. You get several cooling opportunities, with the front of the case offering a mount for a 120mm fan or radiator, while the back has space for an 80mm fan with an ATX PSU installed. If you have an SFX PSU, there should be room for a 120mm fan or radiator. But still, this case could get hot when pushing the PC's components to their limits. And number 1. Cooler Master NR200. One of the biggest concerns people have when building mini ITX PCs is being able to accommodate the most powerful hardware, which tends to run a bit big. You don't need to worry with the Cooler Master NR200. It may be only 18.25 liters in volume, it has enough room for a 330mm long graphics card, which is even longer than the powerful NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. It also has racks for two 2.5-inch drives and a 3.5-inch drive, and there is space for an NVMe SSD, which should be your game and high-intensity program drive. Make sure everything stays cool with an CPU cooler or 240mm liquid CPU cooler, and you'll be good to go. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.